what's up and welcome to freestyle number three east coast and our first truck is going to be for team tracks x max so this is his first appearance this season hoping to do good like bad habit or even like how scully did a way better job than craniac did but this x max team is really gotta find their their real good spot and the air from X Max was crazy right there and he's gonna get some more good air off of this monster truck oh he'll slam the wall going into the crush cars right there and look at this run from the X Max machine. The slapper into the destruction ish donut. Into the bicycle rollover. This X Max team is really out there for some action. They're trying to keep the same multiplier with their score. Their consistency is amazing. It looks like this track holds a lot of good consistency. And what is happening? The X Max truck has just lost it. One million two hundred and twenty five thousand six hundred and twenty. Amazing score from X Max. And we are going to get to our second truck. But what a run from X Max. Our next truck will be Newcomer Grim. So we've already had two newcomers. And this Grim machine is really looking to beat that 1 million from X Max. But the consistency on this track compared to the others, it's super easy to just get that 1 million. And Grim has just messed up his entire freestyle run by ending his consistency points, which therefore will probably result in him losing freestyle. So sad for Grim, but hey, you know, this is just a copy of Gravedigger, and Gravedigger is like top five monster truck, and wow, Grim is really losing it here. We saw some way better stuff from X Max, and this course just doesn't bring it. The damage these trucks are getting is basically none. Nobody's truck has fallen apart yet. The only thing that really happened to X Max is he got caught in a moment where he really couldn't do anything about it. And a front flip rollover from Grimm. They're taking these trucks wild. He's gonna end it on a donut almost. 259,000. Definitely not good enough, good enough to beat 1 million. So, we will get our third truck, which is going to be Newcomer Barefoot. So, we're having a lot of new newbies. And, just so you know, uh, no, I'll tell you later. We should talk about Barefoot's run. So already barefoot doing a good job. The bicycle into another bicycle into a jump right there. This barefoot machine is just rocking it. But has already lost freestyle due to the fact that he couldn't keep the consistency. I don't think anyone's going to be able to beat X Max. But this track, it was very well easy to do so. And those jumps right there just get you. The barefoot. Here he comes. Big air. 
Ooh, can't make it. You just got a dent in that front left side of the truck. And here's the sky wheelie into the destruction. To right there, he's going to take it. He wants this freestyle. He wants to do better than the lame old Grim truck. He knows he can do a better job than that grim thing. Ooh, the air. Into the sky wheelie almost. The barefoot machine. Just wants it. Oh! 186,000. Not enough. He'll be in third place for now. I don't care about the Grand Cherokee. I don't even want that once I get on the for a car. And our next truck. It's gonna be Rampage. For a second time out here, their fourth run of the their uh, I mean their second time out here this season. There's probably only gonna be a couple truck trucks that will be on their third time. I don't know if Radical Motion's gonna be in it. He's been destroying it because Radical Motion, on uh, for the All-Star Show and the World Finals, Radical Motion, Rust Bucket, and Wicked are locked in because they have all won at least once. Because Rust Bucket won the West in event number one. Wicked won the East. Er, Wick yeah, Wicked won the East in event two. And Radical Motion got the east in event one and the west in event two so they are both locked in to both events they'd probably be in there anyway well the only one that really needed that to get locked in would be rust bucket but this rampage machine is doing a wonderful job the slapper into the wall into the sky slap wheelie. Oh. Get the acceleration back up. Boom. 460,000. He will take second place. And now. We are going to do. The California Kid. Our fifth truck out and our fourth new truck. So we have had now 29 different trucks enter the season. And a bicycle from California Kid. Already starting off strong. But has just blown that 1 million chance as he's lost the consistency. And wow, what a move from the California Kid. This is one tough truck. I've got to say so. And he's just asking for a good run right now. And wow! This truck's so tiny it can withstand anything. Now the tiny guys are doing great out here. Rockstar was amazing at flopping around. Now look at the California kid. The kid out of California. Look at that backflip. He's basically destroyed the truck with his California kid powers and is basically looking not too good for points because all of those wicked things were fun to watch but really weren't worth anything when it comes to points. 194,000. He will, I believe, take fourth. But we will get our sixth truck out. Our sixth truck is, you know, it's going to be the boogie van. Sixth is the boogie van. This is his second time out. 
I'm pretty sure we're going to do the east and west in just one video. Because last time we had to do two videos for the east. And then only one for the west. Because I... Uh... The video accidentally ended during the east. And the boogie van. No one is going to even be close to X Max, but the boogie van. He has been putting on quite the show for us. Here it comes. Turns around. Takes the jump. Here he comes for another jump. Oh! He had so much speed on that. And again, just the boogie van lost his face. So the boogie van no longer has a face. And he's just trying something. Going for a donut. The destruction. The drift. The cyclone. The slap wheelie. The boogie van has gotten one million. What I don't think it's enough. I think he was about 40,000 off. But the boogie van has definitely secured himself a good position. And let's get to our seventh truck, Bigfoot. So Bigfoot Speed Energy. This is not a new truck because it's Bigfoot. And he will be represent representing the points for the original Bigfoot. So any Bigfoot that comes out, it's all for the Bigfoot team. So Bigfoot Speed Energy really wants this and he's gonna go say hi to the speed energy backflip ramp which he just drove off of bam the moves from the speed energy are amazing out here he's just gonna camp these cars right here bam Bop, bop. He wanted some gun points, so he was doing that just for some help. And now this Bigfoot speed energy. Oh, the destruction. Into the moves. He's really been keeping this Bigfoot truck clean. Don't need too many repairs. Oh. And he flips the truck on that one move. The sadness, let's see. He hit it like right over there where the dent is and it just flips him over. The sadness the Bigfoot is feeling right now. It is so big. He's sad about that one right there. And the Bigfoot team, oh, pretty sure they beat somebody. Let's get to our last truck in the East Division. Who will it be? Representing the East. Raptors Rampage. Pretty sure this is our 30th new truck. Or we have 30 trucks in here. And pretty sure this is our 6th new truck. Or, no, this is our 5th new truck. That we've had in this freestyle a lot of new ones and raptors rampage oh he wants this freestyle victory he can smell it coming because this truck is just amazing what are they doing out here holy Cow, the Raptors Rampage crew looking so good out here. Big air from the Raptors Rampage. Now the jump to the destruction, the sky wheelie, everything, the slapper. The fact that the rear end of this thing's just gone. And oh, the save! The save from Raptors 
Jesus rampage. Holy. Holy smokes. The save was amazing though. What is he doing? What is Raptors rampage up to? He'll take the jump. The air. Into the land. 1,138,000. Pretty sure that's third place. And the end of our East Division. We'll get to our West with our first truck being Crazy Train. So, Crazy Train, this is not his first time being first one in the West. And already the save. But, uh, in event one in the West, he was the first truck to go out. And now in event three... He's the first truck to come out in the West. Come out of hiding. For Crazy Train right now, the run he's having is amazing. He's doing just what Raptor's Rampage was doing. Going all out. He knows he can get this freestyle win if he goes all out. Because X-Max, uh, he didn't go so all out. And what's this? Dude, the crazy train's out. The crazy train's out. The crazy train is out. What has he done? Oh, ho, ho. the outage from Crazy Train right there. He, like, didn't even have damage on the thing. And just ended it. Right there, he just ended his run. Ooh. What I love about being here in One Arrow is Wagutuin. It means coming to... Okay. Our second truck. is going to be Convict. So we're gonna have one more new truck after Convict. And we'll have 32 in the season so far. And yes, I said so far. And Convict, he looks pretty good. This truck has speed, has power, has the ability to fly through the air. I'm thinking we're going to see good stuff come from Convict. And I'm thinking he will be in the All-Star Show. I'm not sure about the, free st uh, about the World Finals, though. But he will attempt the All-Star Show. And we are getting word that Convict is in the All-Star Show. So, not the only people that are secured in... Are I believe X Max, um, Radical Motion, Rust Bucket, and Wicked, but Convict has just been told that he is in. And there's a lot of other trucks that are definitely going to be in, but we just don't have the word yet. But yeah, Convict is going to be in. And Convict is kind of on the roll with this freestyle run. He's got that consistency going for him. Boom. The jump right there. And 547,000. Alright, let's get our third truck out. And number three is going to be Snake Bite. So yes, Snakebite is out for a third time this season in another new paint job. So you're probably wondering why is Snakebite has Snakebite been in all three and there's been trucks only in one or only in two? Well, that's because Snakebite is a very big team. He even works for Team Bigfoot. That team is very huge, but Bigfoot missed one. 
and snake bite. Well, okay, I'll explain it now. So, season one is kind of more of an invitational season, and some people are only wanting running one race, and some people will be in all six. Oh yeah, and I changed my mind. There's gonna be six regular season, one all star, and one world finals to make up eight season events. So Snake Bite could be in all six. Ross Bucket and School are only gonna be in one. But in season two, everybody has to participate in the same amount of regular season events. So there's gonna be in season two eight regular season events, one all star challenge, and then a world finals. So everyone has to compete in four events in Season 2. But in Season 1, Snakebite could run all six, and then somebody could only run one of them. But, yeah. 403,000. Let's get to our fourth truck. Fourth, I believe. Yeah, fourth. It'll be Wildfoot. So for the, for the Bigfoot team, Wildfoot. Is coming out ready for some freestyle action and BAM pow oh 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 he's damaged the truck and this is our final new truck so there's no more openings this event for a new truck to come in and whoa Wildfoot going wild with the saves right now the jump right there into the turnaround. The cars. Bam. Pow. Oh. Save it. Yes, he can. And he don't have to worry about anything. He works for Team Bigfoot. And Team Bigfoot is the team, the richest team in Monster Jam. So he will be able to easily repair this beautiful Wildfoot thing. And I think he might win the West. Whoa! So, after this run, I believe it'll be our fourth run. Oh. And pretty sure that's good for the West. But now we are gonna get to our hold up. So there was snake by Convict. We are gonna get to our fifth run. Our fifth run will be done by Aftershock. With a new paint. Of course, we have to have a new paint for the Aftershock team. And news, Wicked is not in this event. Now I know he just came off of a win. But he's not in it. But this is our fifth truck. And bam. Whoa. Oh. The Aftershock crew almost just lost it right there. And right there, the slime version of this truck is amazing. Look at this aftershock job that the team has done. A great paint job for aftershock. In my books, that is a great aftershock paint scheme. I think the fans are going to love it. They're going to love seeing this thing on course. Oh! He almost goes overboard, but doesn't. And where is he? He's right here, and he's lost the front of it. And, ooh, that was kind of a sad moment. He has a look, about 15 seconds to go, and he's got to step it up. He's gonna go for some big air. Right there. The Aftershock team, 380,000. We are gonna get to our sixth truck. 
in just a moment. Our sixth one is Radical Motion. If he gets this freestyle win, I'm going to be so freaked out about it. So he's got to basically beat 1,100,000 for the West. But if this awesome looking Radical Motion can win himself another one, no he can't. He just messed it up. Boom. Pow, what? Actually, he hasn't really messed it up yet. He still has a big opportunity right there. With the destruction, no he does not. I'm going to officially say that the Radical Motion crew cannot win three in a row. Freestyle. It is just not possible. They're definitely probably going to win the regular season. And then probably get the championship at the free sh at the World Finals. But, yeah. Radical Motion. Doing great. Oh, what is this? Run from the Radical Motion team. All they've done is basically dented the front and lost a quarter panel. 284. Mm, kind of bad. Now we're going to get to our seventh. Actually, yes, we are going to do tantrum. Because I realized it doesn't matter how many newcomers we have. By the end of the season, we'll probably have 48 to 50 trucks in it. So this is our 33rd truck, set, 33rd truck entering the points. And our ninth new truck. And...